Hi there, everybody. Welcome to your Astro Mojo. I'm your astrologer, Lisa Perron, and this is your general Western astrology forecast for April 2016. April stars are lovely for new beginnings and a fresh start and provide stable energy for our lives. Venus, the planet of love and money, enters the fire sign of Aries on the 5th. The sparkling Venus energy will give the fire signs of Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius extra charisma and allure for the next three weeks. As well on the 5th, the planet of communications and business, Mercury, enters the earthy sign of Taurus for the next three weeks. This influence is grounding as well and can have people taking more time with thoughts, speech, and communications. This also begins the main influence of this month to really take your time and consider the consequences of your actions. <clears throat> On the 7th, we have a new moon supermoon at 18 degrees of Aries. This is the second supermoon of 2016 and is a good time for new beginnings, projects, and business enterprises. There is, however, a little bit of turbulence in the celestial skies with this new moon, as it is conjunct, <clears throat> excuse me, or very close to Uranus, the planet of surprises. In fact, now, the Sun, Moon, Venus, and Uranus are all together in the sky, making what we astrologers call a stellum. When the planets are close to each other, they will absorb each other's energy and the four, four planets in the fire signs of, uh, of a fire sign of Aries, people will feel more restless, blunt, bold, as well as courageous. Overall, this energy is sparkling and will bring surprises and a possibility of instability to the new moon. Expect the situation to intensify on the ninth when the sun makes an exact conjunction to Uranus at 20 degrees of Aries. This is also a time of surprises where there could be unexpected situations pop up for good or bad, depending on how the planets influence your personal horoscope. Some of you will be presented with a golden opportunity and you may feel extremely restless, jumpy, fidgety, or itchy around this time. The 12th is a good time for love and romance when Venus makes a harmonious angle to Mars at 8 degrees of Aries and Sagittarius. People at this time will feel more bold towards and forward uh, towards matter, matters of the heart. The 14th is a wonderful day for writers and people in communications. Submit your articles, books, and make your important call now as Mercury is making our harmonious aspect to Jupiter in the stable Earth signs. As well, the Moon is making a lovely angle to Jupiter, the planet of abundance and expansion. So go for it now. Then on the 17th, Mars goes retrograde at 8 degrees of Sagittarius until June 29th. This may have some people rethinking over a situation, a sexual relationship, as well as will slow down financial dealings until later this year. Some people will begin to feel sluggish and feel like their energy is just not quite up to par at this time. This is also not a good time for business or a long-term deal such as a marriage. Wait. The next day on the 18th, Pluto stations retrograde at 17 degrees of Capricorn until September 26. This will have some of you looking deep within yourself and is an excellent time for counseling, therapy, or guidance if you need it. The sun enters the earthy sign of Taurus on the 19th, switching our focus to financial matters, as well as further emphasizing us to slow down and take our time in this busy world. As well on the 19th, Venus at 17 degrees of Aries makes a harsh angle to Pluto and Capricorn. This energy can have some folks feeling cranky or irritable, as well as very critical as far as relationships or partnerships go, so take it easy. On the 22nd, we have a sexy full moon at 12 degrees of Scorpio and Taurus, putting the emphasis on money and pleasures in life. This energy may also have some people feeling jealous about a romantic partner or bring a situation to completion. 
Also influencing the full moon is Venus, making an exact conjunction with Uranus at 21 degrees of Aries. Some of you will be feeling very emotional as well, as this energy could bring about an exciting new romantic interest. This person may be unusual looking in dress, manner, speech, or be foreign to you in some way. Putting the cherry on the celestial cake for the month of April is the planet of communications, Mercury, stationing retrograde until the 29th. of May. Oh, sorry. Uh, Mercury is stationing retrograde on the 29th. It goes to retrograde at 24 degrees of the Earth sign Taurus until May 23rd. During this time, you can expect missed appointments, communication breakdown, travel chaos, and general confusion. See my video on Mercury Retrograde for more information on the subject. Make sure to check your April video horoscope forecast with your lucky crystal recommendation for your sun sign, moon, and ascendant. If you like my videos, please show your support by liking and subscribing to my channel. These have been the transits and general forecast for April, but they will only affect you personally if you have planets influenced by those signs or degrees in your personal horoscope. For personal predictions and to see how the stars may affect you, order your in-depth astrology reading with me based on your time, date of lo and location of birth. Be strong, take your time, and live life to the fullest. Life is a journey after all, and a wonderful, full of wonderment and beauty. Until next time, lovelies, I send you love and light. Take care.